Hello everyone. Today our topic is page table entries. In the previous videos, we discussed paging and the methods used to implement page table. The main function of the page table is to store where each logical page is stored in physical memory. And in each memory reference, we have to access the page table to find out where the address logical page is stored. The frame number is read from the page table and concatenated with the page offset to obtain the physical address. The number of bits required in the frame number field depends on the number of frames and is equal to the size of physical memory divided into frame size. So number of bits for frame equals to size of physical memory divided into frame size. This field is required in all page tables. Page table has additional optional entries and they are usually called status bits. Today we are going to discuss these bits and most of them will be used in describing the next chapter, virtual memory. One of these bits is called valid, invalid bit, or sometimes present absent bit. The purpose of this bit is to tell the operating system whether the reference page is in memory or not. Usually, if this bit is zero, then the page is not in memory. And if it's one, the referenced page is in memory. If the page is in memory, we continue referencing it as usual. If however the page is not in memory, then we have to bring it from the packing store. And this bit is useful for implementing virtual memory. Another bit or bits is the protection bit or bits. It informs the operating system what kind of protection we need for this page. For example, read only, read write, read write execute, etc. The next bit that some operating system use is the reference bit. If this bit is zero, then this page has not been referenced. And if it is one, then this page has been referenced. The operating systems use more than one reference bit. The next bit is for caching, caching enabled or disabled. Sometimes we need fresh data. For example, if the main memory contains the latest information entered by the user. Now, if you try to put this page in the cache, that cache will show the old information. So whenever a freshness is required, we do not want to go for caching or many levels of the memory. The information present in the closest level to the CPU and the information present in the closest level to the user might be different. So we want the information to be consistent, which means whatever information user has given, CPU should be able to see it as fast as possible. And for this purpose, caching enable disable bit is used. And the last bit is the modified bit. And sometimes it's called the dirty bit. Modified bit or dirty bit tells the operating system whether the page has been modified or not. If the page was modified, then its copy in memory is different from its copy in the backing store. In such cases, if we perform write operations into a page, this bit should be switched to one, meaning that this page is dirty or has been modified. The modified bit is helpful 
if we choose this page as a victim for replacement, if it has not been modified, then we do not need to swap it out to the backing store, since the copies in memory and in the backing store are the same. I have to mention that not all operating systems include all these optional bits. Some operating systems may have only two or three of them. Before starting the next chapter, virtual memory, I have to mention that paging supports shareable pages. In this case, the same frame number may be included in different page tables for different processes. And therefore, we do not need to have different copies of the same page in memory. The page is stored in one frame that can be used by different processes. For today, that's all. Thank you.